God bless you guys. This is Pastor Miguel from Tap Me If You Need Prayer. Today I'm going to do my uh, calling of the eagles with my shofar. And uh, many of you might be wondering what's the big deal with me and the eagles. Um, and to tell you, the eagles have been a, a blessing to God, to my life. Uh, I remember many years ago um, when I lived in Kissimmee, I was going through the toughest uh, challenge in my spiritual walk that I've ever been through. Uh, I mean, I went through a big depression. I went through so much heartache. And God used the ego to redirect my focus back to Him. Um, I started seeing eagles out of nowhere. People didn't even believe me. People thought that I was crazy. There's no eagles in Kissimmee or St. Cloud. People would tell me. And it was uh, then that I took one of the cameras they gave me at a dealership. And uh, I started taking pictures of the bald eagles and showing people that I was truly seeing os not an osprey, but an eagle. Because a lot of people would say, oh, those are osprey hawks. But when they saw the images, they realized, wow, there are American bald eagles. And through that experience, that's how people started then calling me Eagle Eye. And that's why you see my photography business is called Eagle Eye Photography. So it was something that God basically put in my hands. And I, I would tell my wife back then, you know, me and the eagles, I think one time, one day I'm going to own my own eagles. And when I moved to this side of town with a friend of mine named uh, Carl Kraus, uh, we started both uh, pursuing eagles. We started uh, feeding eagles together and, and we would get uh, vultures, we would get crows. And that's why we started doing the things with the eagles. And I remember one time the Lord spoke to him and, and let him know that we were the ones that was going to now be living in this property where we're at. And uh, that's how I ended up being in this house right here. Um, and it was through that gentleman that used to live here. So what happened was um, he sent me a text message during that time. And he says to me, Miguel, I'm giving you the eagles, which uh, I found pretty interesting because I always tell my wife that I believe one day God was going to give me my own eagles. And to make a long story short, it came a time that I had to stop uh, feeding the eagles out here because um, my neighbor asked me for a favor to to just do it, feed them a little earlier because what happened was that the vultures were coming and um, they were surround their calf. When, you know, when, when a cow gives birth to their calf, they come out a little weak. So the vultures, what they would do, they would peck the eyes out. That way the calf could die and, and then they could eat it. And the neighbor told me, if you feed them earlier, we avoid the, the vultures. And because what happens is if an eagle tries to eat my, my, my calf, I can't shoot it because it's an eagle. But if a vulture does, I could, but you know, just to avoid the whole situation, he asked me to just feed them earlier. So what I ended up doing altogether was not doing it because I'd rather him have his livestock than him lose uh, one of his calf because of, of the whole us feeding the eagles and all that stuff. So anyway, to make a long story short, um, one day I'm helping cleaning the church in the, in the altar and, and I found a ram's horn inside a bin. I asked uh, one of the pastors that was there before, Pastor Terry, if, um, if I could, you know, I, I asked him, what's the deal with that ram's horn in that bin? And he said, hey, it's been there for two years. If you like it, you can have it. Nobody's using it. So when I took it in my hands, I heard the Lord speak to me clearly. He said, take, take the ram's horn, the shofar, take the shofar and blow it every morning and put chicken and the eagles will come. So I did, the very next day, I took the ram's horn, I, I blew it and then I put chicken and it's been maybe five or six years now since I've been doing it. And that way we didn't get the vultures, we didn't get the crows, we just got the eagles. And um, I'm telling you the very next day, washing dishes after I blew the horn and put the chicken, I went home and I felt that tug in my heart, look out the window. And when I did, the eagle was sitting on top of the perch, um, one of those perches right here behind me, just sitting, looking at the chicken right across from it. And I started taking pictures from then. And let me tell you, these are my eagles. Uh, they're wild, but they, call, they come every time I call. And as you can see, I'm talking with you right now. There's no eagles around, nothing. And they will come. If they are in town, they will come. They will come. So um, I'm going to do this right now. So be patient. Just wanted to tell you the story behind it. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put the, the camera right here. I'm gonna call the eagles. You're gonna see me call it. And um, right here next to this Black Widow's web. All right. So when the eagle comes, you're gonna see it there. I gotta put this nice and stable. Awesome. So here we go. <laughs> I'm 
with the chicken now. There he comes. There you go, two for one special. God bless you. God is faithful. The Lord is real. If He speaks to you, believe His word, no matter what you see with your eyes. At the moment, things may not seem like it's going the way you thought, the way you think it should, but God always comes through in the end of the day. God bless you guys. And remember, share this with somebody. It could save someone's life. God bless you.